Yeah, hi there. These comments are for as a day, and this is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT, and I'm going to uh, listen to your speaking practice test number uh, 132. I'm downloading it right now, and I apologize uh, for being late. I know it's you posted it about two days ago. And uh, right now, uh, we have a TOEFL test coming up on the 30th, and all you guys are doing all of your practice tests right now, trying to get ready. So good luck to you if you're taking the test on the 30th. So I've gotten a little bit behind. But uh, anyway, here, here we go. I'm going to listen to it and comment as we go. If my friend looking for a job, uh, you want to say if my friend is looking for a job. Don't forget your B verb in there. I have uh, two possible solutions to help him or her. The first is that, uh, and the first thing that I would like to mention to my friend is that searching on the internet that is very effective and important. You know what? You're doing something about your tone here. You are getting better. You really are. Honestly, you're varying your tone more than you've done in the past. In the past, you've had more of a flat monotone, but this time, you're actually making some improvements. Because there are a lot of jobs in the internet that has open position for some... You want to say a lot of jobs that have, right? So jobs is plural, and then that is your relative cause connector, connector use have to refer back to it. A student or some uh, specialist. Uh, a skill or experiment. I think you want to say specializations maybe is probably the better word in that well, case. It is very good that a student after graduating uh, consulate with his uh, supervisor because some professor or supervisor has net... Okay, so now here's an interesting question. Uh, can you capture lightning in a bottle? Do you think that's easy to do? Of course not, right? This is an expression we have in American culture. Now, you actually have very good tone there. Now, can you do it again? Interesting. Do that again. That was very, very strong. So I want to tell you you're making some very good improvements, I think, with your pronunciation and specifically with intonation. Now, having said that, let's talk about the speech. So I think in terms of topic development, my main suggestion would be is in the beginning, try to include in that topic statement the two specific solutions you have for your friend. Mention those. Just don't say, I have two solutions. Right? You had some problems, as I pointed out, with your uh, grammar and your vocabulary usage. So that will affect your score a little bit. Uh, you also had some intelligibility issues. But you're getting better. You are getting better there. So on this speaking task... Uh, I'm going to put you at about between 2.66 and 2.83, between 20 and 22 points out of 30. All right? So those are my comments for your independent speaking practice test number 132. Now, you also sent me one today. This is uh, the independent speaking task number 137, and I'm downloading it right now. Here we go. If a child moved to another country for living, I think it is better that this child be familiar with two languages. Okay, so in the beginning, you think the ch child should learn the two languages or remember the question? I, that I think it is better that the child be familiar with a, a new place and the new country language because it's helpful for him or her to can continue an education in future and find a job because this child grew up in the new country. You want to say this child grow up. I would say this child will grow up in the new country. I would use future tense there, not simple present. And she or he has to learn a new language. That's good. I like your use of moreover as a way of adding to a previous idea that helps keep the connection of your ideas clear. Has to know about mother's language 
which is very important for his past. Maybe in future, he, he or she wanted to come back to his mother countries. And I would say there, go back to his mother country, not countries plural. Your tone's good again. You've done this two times in a row now. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. You're making progress. You really are. Okay, so let's look at, uh, I, I think with this one, your topic development was, was fairly strong. I can understand how you're connecting your ideas. I like your use of transition words to help show those relationships. Uh, language use, you did have some problems with your grammar and your vocabulary usage. Delivery, like I said, you're making improvements, but you're still having some delivery issues. Uh, I'm going to give you a score of 2.83 out of 4 on this one, 22 points out of 30. Alrighty, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, I just gave you some comments on two different independent speaking practice tests. And uh, as I said before, uh, keep up the good work. And congratulations on making some important improvements in tone. And I apologize, I know for about a week or two I've been hammering on you really hard about the tone about trying to change that. And you did it. You finally did. All right. Have a great day.